How you doing, Chargers? We're kicking off your Monday, April 25th, with yet another installment of DP News. I'm Olivia Deveni. And I'm Ashley Oaks. We are soon to let you know how to sign up for the blood drive. Become a part of next year's yearbook staff. And fulfill your community service requirements. You're watching DP, DP News. News. Trying to improve your SAT score? Want to be prepared for the first time around? Sign up for this week's SAT essay seminar workshops. Workshops are held in the Writing Center and in the Dell Lab during seminar. They are limited to 30 participants and students must sign up in advance at the Writing Center website on the sign-up form. Do you like photography, design, or writing? Then the yearbook staff is something you want to be a part of. Please fill out the application at dpyearbook.org and come to the pizza party in T3 at lunch today and you can talk to current staff and editors. The International Baccalaureate Program is hosting its first annual extended essay exhibition this Thursday, April 28th at 4.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. If you're a freshman interested in the IB program or a sophomore who applied for the program next year, make sure to check it out. This is a great opportunity to talk with current IB students and learn more about the extended essay. Food and drinks will be provided. Please talk to Mr. Moran if you have any questions. Seniors who are lifetime members of National Honor Society and or Cal California Scholarship Federation, the Senior Honor Society Scholarship application is available outside Ms. Stone's office or check your Naviance email. Also, those of you who have worked for 20, 200 hours or more for community service must turn in their community service hours by this Wednesday, April 27th. La Patera School is hosting an open house on Thursday, April 28th and in need of volunteers. The event starts at 4.30 p.m. and goes until 7.30 p.m. Those interested would be setting up, cleaning up, and selling drinks. The deadline to apply for the scholarship is this Wednesday, April 27th. If you have questions, please check with your parent advisor. Please contact Renona at 805-455-6398. Now looking ahead at the 2016-2017 school year. Students interested in taking SBCC dual enrollment math or economics courses taught by one of our very own teachers here at DP must take the SBCC math assessment in order to have the option. To sum it up, the courses that cannot be taken unless a student has taken the SBC math assessment are... Math 150-160, Math 17, Math 14, Liberal Arts, Econ 101, Microeconomics, and Econ 102, Microeconomics. Assessment dates at Dos Pueblos are Friday, April 29th at 8 a.m. in the cafeteria or Friday, May 6th at 2 p.m. in the cafeteria. Sign up in the counseling office with Mr. Safro before lunch, at lunch, or after school starting Monday, April 18th. Bring your SBCC student ID or cane number in order to sign up for the assessment. If you can't take the assessment during these times, then go to the SBCC itself and take the test in their assessment office and bring the results to your counselor. Study up and remember that there is a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. Oh goodness. Please remember to that the web, SBCC website or contact your counselor directly if you have any questions. On the flip side, colleges visiting, visiting today are University of New Hampshire in the Career Center from 9.04 a.m. to 10.02 a.m. As always, bring your pass signed by your teacher. The DP Art Department annual student art show is Wednesday, April 27th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. here in our DP library. The artwork will be on exhibit until May 4th. This fantastic art show always draws in students. We hope you'll be one of them. The blood drive has started and sign ups and permission slips are available in the athletics office or online at tinyurl.com slash blood drives April 16. Those who will donate will be entered in a raffle to win a $25 Starbucks gift card. The actual date of the blood drive is tomorrow, April 26. Blood donation eligibility is found on the permission forms. Seniors who are lifetime members of National Honor Society and our Calif California Scholarship Federation, the Senior Honor Society Scholarship application is available to pick up outside Ms. Stone's office, or you can check your Naviance email. The deadline to apply is this Wednesday, April 27th. If you have questions about it or whether you're a lifetime member, please check with your advisor or contact Ms. Stone. Moving on, we'd like to send it over to Julian with info about the Lucha Club. 
Hi, my name is Julian Berrigan, the president of Lucha Club, which stands for Latinos Unidos Capacitando Hermanos Adelante. And I'm proud to say that the Santa Barbara First District Supervisor, Salud Carbajal, will be here at DP to share his story of becoming a successful Latino. Mr. Carbajal has very humble beginnings and I want to explain the difficulties that he went through in his own life. Salud will be here on Tuesday during lunch in room H30 and anybody that wants to hear his story is welcome to come. Thank you. Back to Olivia Nashley. Hey Julian, now over to Anne with our Write-a-thon winners. Hi, I'm Anne Bailey here with the Write-a-thon winners for the Writing Center. So, can you tell me your name and what you want for? My name is Luis Cardenas and I wrote a dialogue called Small Change and the prompt for that was Change. My name is Aya Wahab and I wrote an essay slash rant on PDA called In Their Shoes. My name is Allison Rader and I wrote the poem Breakbone Diary for the prompt Dirt. Cool guys, so Luis, that was two hours of writing, right? Yes. So what was that like? It wasn't that bad. I'm pretty used to cramming in about six hours of essay writing on Sunday night. That's impressive. <laughs> Ali, what did you guys win? We got to win $20 e-gift cards. Very cool. Ooh, and I heard you getting published in the school magazine. Yes, eternal glory for Allison. <laughs> and us. Oh, right. <laughs> nice. Okay, Aya, mm -hmm. would you participate given the chance? Definitely. Too bad I'm a senior, though. Well, there you have it, DP. I'm Ann Bailey, sending it back over to the campus anchors. Just for a bit. After prom tickets will be sold available this Thursday outside the athletics office. For our early buyers, there will be an early bird special with a prize giveaway. After prom tickets will be officially $15 starting next week, but this Thursday you and your date can get them for the low price of $12. Plus, you'll be entered eight times into a raffle for a special prize giveaway, but only if you buy your tickets by Friday. After prom is sponsored by the PTSA and will be held at Zotos from midnight to 4 a.m. on May 14th through 15th. Keep in mind that you do not have to be attending prom in order to be a part of after prom. In fact, you just have to be a DP senior or one of their dates. They'll be giving away 500 prizes all night. Don't miss out. I'll see you there. Thanks for tuning in, Chargers. We'll catch you later. Let's send it over to Peter with the sports. What's up, TP? This is Peter here with your sports report. DP's varsity girls swim team had an outstanding meet against Buena. Samantha Moore, Jody Plant, Danny Castleberg, and Cassie Barkhorn started things off with a victory in the 200 medley relay. Junior Brittany Tisdale clocked in a win in the 200 freestyle with a time of 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Tisdale went on to win the 50 meter freestyle as well as the 200 freestyle relay with Faye Neuschel, Claire Grimm, and Abby Hill. Overall, the DP Varsity Girls swim team won all 11 events events yesterday at Buena and are now 1-3 and three overall. The DP Surf team ended their season undefeated and champions of the SBLA division of the Scholastic Surf Series. In addition, the men's shortboard league champion was freshman Sam Reichel, with freshman Zane Booth taking third place. The women's team took second place overall in league for both shortboard and longboard with sophomore Michaela Boswick taking third place overall in the individual women's longboard. In the last game of the regular season for DP Girls Across, our girls played tough but ultimately lost 16-8 to Kate School. Jamie Sharp led the team with three goals, with Becca Baxis and Mika Henriksen both scoring two. Our girls are now 10-3 and, and have ended their season in the midst of the top 24 teams in their section, which means DP Girls Across will be going to the playoffs. Great job, girls. At the Santa Barbara County Championships, our track and field team did very well. Highlighted by juniors Chris Jones and Spencer Kammerer, each clearing six foot two in the high jump to ensure that they would finish first and second in the meet. They elected to raise the bar to six foot five to, to each have a shot at breaking the 33 year old school record, which was also set at the SB County Championships. Chris Jones cleared the bar on his third attempt to take the record. Great job. On the girls' side, Christina Rice continued her fast ways, getting second place in the 1600 and 3200 meter race. The 4x100 relay led by Jade Day, Sofia Martinez, Carmen Villaruel, and Liliana Marquez also got second place with a time of 51.94 seconds. Carmen Villaruel also got second in the pole vault, jumping over 10 feet. 
Our boys finished with a second place finish, as well as our girls finishing in second place. Great job, guys. The members of the Dos Pomos Winter Percussion Ensemble were named champions of the Senior A Division at the Pep and Pageantry Arts Association of the Central Coast Finals, which were held at Independence High School in Bakersfield on Saturday. Performing their show entitled Mirror Mirror, they were awarded gold medals for a score of 82.65. In addition, Junior Enrique Guerra competed in the PPAACC Solo Fest and was awarded a silver medal for his marimba solo and my sister, Carrie Apple, was awarded the gold medal for her color guard solo. That's all for your sports report, DP. Now we're Nandini with current events. Hey, DP. It's Nandini with the news. The Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest reef, is dying. The Great Barrier Reef supports a variety of marine life. Time Magazine says the temporary warming effect of a major El Nino event combined with the ongoing climate change has heated the waters around the reef to n nearly unprecedented levels. This warming has in turn driven mass bleaching that has sucked the color and the life out of the coral. Bleaching occurs when ocean disruptions, warm water, pollution, drive away symbiotic organisms that live on the coral and give it color. This bleaching is severe and occurring globally. Scientists believe that bleaching now underway may kill more than 15% of the world's coral. In other news, the countdown to Rio 2016 has officially been kicked off, as the torch was lit in southern Greece. CNN says the torch will travel to Brazil on April 27th to begin a 95-day tour visiting 83 cities, 26 state capitals, and 500 towns, reaching an estimated 90% of the population. The Torch's Brazilian tour will involve an estimated 12,000 torchbearers before arriving in Rio's famous Maracanã uh, Stadium for the Games opening ceremony on August 5th. And this weekend, DP alumni Nick Scarvelis qualified for the Olympics. Thanks for listening, DP.